Welcome to Crash Racer. Today we're playing Wreckfest and we're going to have a go at the latest four daily challenges. Challenge one today is at the Rockfield Rough Spot. We're going to use automatic gears and these difficulty settings for all four challenges and these are the tuning settings that we're going to use for this first challenge. We are in the TriStar. Okay, six lap race then, all 24 vehicles, so it's a bit crowded at the start. Of course we've got that ridge down the centre that you don't really want to get over the middle of, so it will hang wide, but then I want to try and get into the inside if I can. Don't want to get pushed too far wide. We'll just hold our position here, I think. There's a slight gap behind. Can I get across? Right, got to get a path here. Again, don't want to get over the middle at all. Pretty good start. Crash on the outside there. If we can get a good run up the... Oh, this is a great run. What a great run there. Straight up into ninth place then as we start the second lap. And in behind the lead group. Just got to watch out. You can get so many crashes over those jumps. Whoa! just managed to pick a gap through the middle there the uh, the one car spun wide and the the speedy spun down to the lower side managed to get through though can get the inside here as well yeah up into fourth place right behind second and third one's got not wide third's got not wide so i've got a slight run on them they've taken the outside lane can't quite see. oh there's is that the leader yeah leader's got a uh, bit of a lead on us and it looks like we're struggling for outright pace as well compared with some of these other cars I mean some of the ones that I'd overtaken then came back at me and here they come again so this could be a bit of an issue we've obviously got to make up our time on the corners and trying to take some of these jumps a little bit more cleanly than the than the AI right second place then third and fourth still right behind us bit of a crash there down just caught the back end of that one needed a clean run through there really whoa one coming the wrong way and again got totally outpaced down the straight by what was third and fourth that's dropped me back down to third now back up the inside again I've got way more grip on the on the corners and can take more speed around them but uh, yeah on these straight sections I've just got to I think try and block the uh, block their path a little bit make them go the long way round every time okay second place then as we start the final lap I don't think we're that close to the leader and I don't think we're going to catch them I think we need them to have an accident which of course on this track is always possible but uh, big crash there on the outside but that's not the leader nope hopefully we can hold this second though just got enough pace yet to get over second place then really good race though really enjoyable challenge two then and we're at the motor city circuit we are going to be racing around in the big rig using these tuning settings okay two laps around here 12 of us in the race thank goodness it's not 24 of these big vehicles there would be no room at all on the track just going to hold the inside here ready for this tight left hand hairpin at the top just push my way around try and get clean through try not to spin any of these in front ah oh, that motome spun right in front of me we're away now though we are away now and that's created a little gap behind us up into fourth place then lead few haven't got too far ahead obviously no chance of getting a clean sweep in the uh, challenges today what with that silver in the in the first race it was a really good race though and I love it when uh, the challenges are challenges nothing nothing worse when they're too easy and you can get up into first place by the first or second corner and race away we are up into second place here though and it's a big rig in front that we've got to chase down just tap the barrier there slightly but we're okay already pulled a gap back to third so we can just concentrate on catching this one up All right down this long straight let's see uh, how we do I 
obviously very similar performance to the uh, big rig in front don't want to uh, slam into them here so let's just hang back no point slamming into them really obviously I'd have, uh, there'd be as much chance that I'd scup on my own chances as theirs oh they've caught the inside of the chicane there that's again let me catch up maybe I can line up for an overtake on the straight and I'm right in behind them going to have a look around the outside but no they're just pulling across and there's no real gap so again I'm just going to hold my position slowing me up slightly so we have got to just watch that we don't allow vehicles behind to catch up and that looks like a bugzilla behind so they're going to be pretty quick so yeah I don't want to be stuck behind this leader too long if I can help it doubt there's going to be a chance through this left right left section just need to line myself up for one of the straights really again that bugzilla is closing down right need to take these corners well to give myself a bit of a chance need to close up on this one probably not enough chance to overtake nope so let's just again line myself up get a good entry into here good exit and see if we can get the run oh it's going to be close I think we are pulling up very slowly here we go I think this is definitely the chance we've got to take obviously we're going to watch now when we slow down that they don't slam into the back of us I'm going to take this defensive on the inside make them go the long way round right up behind us as we're coming up towards the chicane fortunately we're not side by side oh and they have again clipped the chicane like they, they did on the first lap so as long as we don't mess this up Nope, we're through. Time to change the camera, straighten it up, and through for our first win of the day and a gold trophy. On to challenge three, then, and we are at the Mudford Motor Park. We're going to be in the dominator for this one and I'm going to use these tuning settings. Okay, three minutes then and a big total of 8,000 points for the gold trophy. This is not going to be easy. Let's dive into the middle to start with. See if we can get one or two hits. I'm going to go in again. Managed to clear most of them vehicles, which wasn't helpful. Let's just clip that one. Are we? Oh, I thought we were going to topple over. No, we're all right, right. Yeah, I think this is going to be a tough challenge. I need to, uh, I just need to collect as many hits as I can as quickly as I can now. Build up that score multiplier, and I'm just about to lose it in saying that. Well, that was not a great start. Okay, start again then. Let's try and build it up. Don't need to get big hits at the start while, uh, while I'm just trying to build up that multiplier, and also I don't want to damage my tar my car too quickly. okay we're starting to rack up the points now hopefully most of the cars stay out on the outside I don't really want to have to go back into the middle again unless I need to it's uh, it's very hard to pick up points going in and out the middle all the time because as you've seen you end up just jumping over cars really there's a good wreck there's some good points with three minutes I ideally want the bronze trophy by the halfway stage about a minute and a half would be great I don't think I'm going to do that unless I get some points quickly here at least we are building up some momentum now and getting that score multiplier up we can get hits while that's the case there we go there's the bronze trophy so slightly slightly behind where I wanted to be but not too bad damn thought I was going to wreck that one did everything but just over a minute left then still about a thousand points to go for the silver trophy I click the back of that one yeah that's what I needed just to hold on to my score multiply and a good wreck there has got me the silver about 50 seconds left then to get the points I need for the gold damn really needed to clip the back of that one and get that wreck and that's the score multiplier gone okay this is now going to be tough 
just under 800 points to go less than 30 seconds and not a lot of score multiplier oh that's not a great sign either that was a big hit in the side of that and only just registered I think the front end of my car is uh, pretty damaged now. There's a lot of damaged vehicles. I managed to get a wreck on that one. Just under 200 points left. 10 seconds to go. Damn, that didn't count. Big hit and it didn't count. That's worrying. Last few seconds. Need to hit somewhere quick. That wasn't quite enough. Oh, was that though? That was a hit right on the right on the last second. Is that going to be enough? It was. <laughs> it was that counted. Gold trophy. Fourth and final challenge of the day then, and we are at the Eagles Peak Motor Park. We're going to be in Bugzilla, and I'm going to use these tuning settings. Two laps around here then, racing in the normal direction, so it's pretty much exclusively right hand corners here, and we're up against all the small stuff, so obviously I've got the absolute strength advantage here, and I've got some trapped under my wheels I think. I'm struggling to steer here, yep, yeah, off and away now. Yeah, obviously we're, we're in a, a vehicle absolutely ideal for this course against lots of vehicles that aren't, but uh, I've just got to get past them. They're obviously quite small and nippy, but... Uh, oh, damn. Damn, again, I got a vehicle stuck under my wheels. This is the problem. I got stuck under my wheels and I just couldn't steer and uh, it spun me round. Big crash there. Big crash up ahead as well and again I've got one stuck under my wheels damn come on out of the way don't want to reset unless I have to all the way back to 22nd 20th now and another one stuck this is not good this is not good yeah obviously with the absolute strength advantage I've got I thought I could just plow my way through all of these like that but they do seem to have a tendency to get stuck under the wheels and then uh, you're in big trouble and I've got a lot of work to do as we come round for the end of the first lap up into about 8th place can I nick another place just as we go over yet yeah. leaders are just about in sight I think that's the leader just going over the over that ramp now Can I nip up the inside here? Yeah, up into second place. Where's the leader? There they are. Still a lot of work to do. Obviously, they, there's a good chance they might have a tumble coming over. And there's all these crossovers as well on, on this track as well. So, but uh, obviously that could affect me as much as them. Coming up right behind them as we're coming up this back straight. Off they go, <laughs> and we're through the crossover as well bit of a gap behind now right just got to make it clean crossover here is clear as well well that was a that was a lot tougher than I thought I thought that was going to be one of these uh, easy challenges like at the rattlesnake race park in the previous daily challenges but uh, yeah with getting vehicles stuck under my wheels that was a lot tougher than I thought gold trophy though Well, that's the end of the daily challenges for today, and we've managed to get... No, we haven't. We've got three gold trophies and one silver trophy. Really tough challenges today. Really enjoyable as well. Good fun. I hope you've enjoyed watching the video. Best luck for all your attempts, and see you soon.